When you review a Linux installer, you basically expect two things. First, you expect the installation to be completed without bugs, and second, you expect the first boot to be flawless, without weird issues. For the most typical desktop installations, and I only care for home computing, the UI doesn't make much of a difference really. Certainly some installers are prettier than others, but all of them are quite straightforward and on high quality, perhaps with the Fedora exception, that has made the disk partitioning unnecessarily complicated. Anyway, back to Debian, and when I decided to try their new installer, I discovered one more important parameter to discuss. What the hell is so wrong with their web pages? It took me like one hour just to discover the ISO to install. And the first effort went like this. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, never strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. Keep holding on. So basically what happened, is that I downloaded the install ISO, that noticed 4 gigabytes and uses the old installer. Instead, we need to download the live ISO, which is almost impossible to find. But everything is sorted out now, and time to watch Ubuntu's little bitch new installer. That was a pro way to get some dislikes, but deep down you, you know I'm right. Oh, and a last thing, Calamaris and Gnome looks like shit, but on Plasma environments like OpenSUSE looks much better. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this